Within the next 10 minutes, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to send stock to the Amazon warehouse to sell via Amazon FBA. My name's Dion Stalls. Been doing e-commerce for the last five years, where majority of my income comes from selling on Cloud, Amazon and doing drop shipping in South Africa. So the first thing you need to do before you can send stock to Amazon is actually add the listings to your account. So you have to head over to your Amazon seller dashboard like I am now, and then you need to go to the top left and click on inventory and manage your inventory. We'll then open up this page right here where you will see all the listings that you have previously added. Now, if you don't know how to add a listing, go look at this video at the top right. Right now, it will give more context where I'll show you guys exactly how to add a listing searched on Amazon as well as create a new listing. So from here on out, you can select the products that you are wanting to send to Amazon just like that and go select group action and then click on create fulfillment order. This sometimes works and sometimes it doesn't. It does give you an error sometimes. So I'm going to use a different method, how I usually do it. And that's by going at the top and clicking on shipping queue. This will then open up your shipping queues and then you'll be able to create a new one. So this is an old one that I have done where you see I've sent in 23 units. And if you want to create a new one, you go to the top left where it says send to Amazon and you're going to click on that. It's going to give you a list of all the different SKUs that you have available for FBA, as you can see on my screen. So now most of you guys will see this because you have never sent stock. Don't worry, it's nothing to stress about. These two I have already done, so you guys see they don't have that exclamation mark there. This only means you need to give Amazon some information regarding the product. You're just going to click on prep. You're going to choose the category. Most of the things that you are going to be sending in is going to be no prep needed because if the product is in a box, as it's already packaged, there's no prep needed on Amazon side. But if it now is a fragile product, you need to tell Amazon if it's glass, something like that. You just need to inform them so they know, okay, this needs to be handled with care or this needs to be stored in, in a certain location. So for us, no prep needed. And then you click on save. And then who labels the units? This is going to be by seller. And then you click on save. You also have an option to let Amazon do this for you. But for now, we don't care about that. We just do it ourselves. So you're going to do that for all of the ones that you want to fulfill. You're going to click on save. So this one is actually missing some information. So you're just going to click on that. And the dimensions, we're just going to put in random dimensions right here. Does not need to be accurate, but please try and be as accurate as possible because your FBA fee will be dependent on this. So then let's go. The height is 15 centimeters. The weight is around 2 kgs. We save it. And then we're just going to click on save again, and then it will be complete. So now I can go ahead and tell Amazon how many of each unit I want to send in. And on the right hand side here, I am wanting to send five of these units. I'm wanting to send two of these, and I'm just going to fulfill that for now. Then you click ready to pack, ready to pack. It's going to give you a little loading animation. You're going to scroll down to all the way where it says pack individual units. And there's a button there that you can click print all SKUs. You're going to choose your labels right here. This is the labels that we use. You're going to click on print all. It's going to open up a tab where you will then see the labels that you need to put on the actual product box itself and on the actual product. So you're going to print this onto your labels, put it on the product, and then you can continue to the next step, which is pack individual units. If you chose the Amazon must label it, they will charge you a fee, which will be displayed there. But we're doing it ourselves back into visual units. Just going to continue with that. It's going to load and then we're going to go to the next step. So this is where we need to tell Amazon how many parcels they could be expecting. In this case, everything's going to fit into one box. So I'm going to tell them this will fit into one box. And the box is most likely going to be 50 centimeters by 40 centimeters by 30 centimeters. The box weight should be around 4 kgs. And then we're just going to confirm the packaging. Then bottom right, you click on confirm and continue. Now we have a ship date. So this is when Amazon could expect the courier that you're using to come and collect the parcel from yourself. So if I'm shipping this out today, I will choose the 13th, but I'm only going to have it ready tomorrow. So I'm going to choose the 14th. And then I need to say, okay, is that's a small parcel that would be delivered via a courier. Or is this a LTL or FTL 
shipment. So this means that there will be a truck with a forklift coming to deliver the stock and the stock is on a pallet. So Amazon would need to make space and this would then tell them where your product needs to be sent to. So this is a small parcel, we just choose the normal one. So carrier, you just choose other, there's no other ones available yet in South Africa. And then you scroll down, this is the shipping address where Amazon will tell you, okay, you need to send to this warehouse right here. So this is the Joburg main warehouse and you're just gonna copy this, go to your courier website that you're using, create a shipment for it, and that's the address where it needs to be delivered. Then you're just gonna go down, accept and confirm shipping, it's gonna load, and then it's gonna give you another label that you need to print out and put on the outside of the big box where all your stock is in. So now it's generated the second label for us and we can select what size we want it, where we want to print it on. Then we click on print and it's just gonna download another page for us. And this one goes on the outside of the box that goes to Amazon. Then you're gonna come back after putting that on your box and you're gonna click on proceed to enter tracking details. Now this tracking detail is the Weibull number that you will be receiving from your courier. You're gonna take your Weibull from your courier, enter it in here, you're gonna click on save, and then Amazon knows, okay, this parcel belongs to this person which is coming with this Weibull. So as soon as you've done that, and you click on save, you're confirming it, and then you are finished. All you need to do is wait for your stock to arrive at Amazon. You'll be able to track it via your portal where you can go to your shipping queue as shown previously and you will see the status there. As soon as the product is delivered at Amazon, you will see the shipping status change and then from then on, it will start tracking internally how far your products are in the internal side of Amazon. So it's going from the loading bay to the warehouse, from the warehouse to the fulfillment center, and you'll be able to track all of that from your shipping queue. And that is basically how you create and send stock to Amazon warehouse to sell on FBA. I hope you guys like this type of content. I'll be releasing a lot more regarding Amazon and Takeout as well. A few other things we're working on that I'm not gonna be mentioning right now. So if you don't wanna miss out on that, press the subscribe button, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.